Just as our mobile phones and personal computers need software update now and then for bug fixes, so does our network devices. In this lesson, we are going to learn ways how to upgrade our router OS. Welcome to another lesson of Technology for All Academy, an academy that teaches ICT networking for free. To mention but a few, we have Cisco and Microtech series, and we'll be doing other vendor series in the future. For those who don't know me, my name is Taban Magobe, the founder of Technology for All Academy. In this lesson, we are going to learn three ways of upgrading our router OS, being upgraded using the Microtech website, Upgrade using the system packages and upgrading Rutabot firmware to the latest version. Without wasting time, let me open my Winbox and we'll connect to our router. So what we want to do, we want to check the architecture of our router. We can see it's Hublite, it's using SMIPS. And the other way to check it again, we can go to system and we go to resources. And we can see here architecture name. SMIPS. So we are going to start by using the website download first. So let me open Google and then we're gonna go to microtech.com. Microtech.com. Enter and inside the microtech website we go to software. Click on software and yes, we click on downloads. We want the latest download. Let's check for SMIPS. Here we have SMIPS. We want the latest package of SMIPS. But before we can go to the latest package, as we can see, we have development. We have testing. Testing and development, you can regard them as beta. We have stable and we have long term. Development and testing is when they like each and every software, like in your Windows and your Androids. Every time they discover bugs and then they try to fix those bugs and introduce a new software or a new version after uh, fixing some of the bugs. For example, when you're using your PC, in most cases, those who use PCs, in most cases you might find that maybe the program is not responding and the computer will tell you the program is not responding uh, report the matter in order to help us something like that it will tell you to report the matter to Microsoft so that they can fix and know about the problem so the same applies to the routers development maybe there's still a lot of bugs that's the way I understand it there's still a lot of bugs they are uh, developing it trying to fix the things that they that okay in the software testing still the same they're still trying to fix the boxes and test whatever features that they introduced in the software. So it's not stable that much. And then when it goes to stable, at least they've tested it enough and they know about those bug fixes that they did and features and the features that they introduced are, are working they are working properly. And the same applies to long time. When the package is stable, it, it, it has been stable for a long time. We take it, they take it to long term, and from long term, they are going to take it to archives. The latest version that we want in download, we want for SMIPS. As I've said, we are using SMIPS. We can see for long term, the latest version is 6.47.10, and for stable is 6.48.4. And as you can see, for testing, it's 6.49. And you can see for development, they are still uh, they are developing 7.1. I've already downloaded my package. The one that I downloaded is for stable, is, is the stable one since it's the one that is a better version than the long time. You will click on you will click on this TV disk and then it will download for you. I've already downloaded mine, and since well we are going to download and uh, what the upgrade and then downgrade in order to show other methods of upgrading 
What I also did again was to go to download archive and then on the archive, let me go to my system again, my Winbox again. As you can see, the version that we are running right now is, is 6.45.9. So what I also did is to look for that version. Here it is, release 6.45.9. And I also downloaded it. You can click on it and download it so that you can downgrade after the upgrade after the upgrade that we did so as i've told you the reason for downgrading is because that is because of i'm going to do other methods of upgrading these are my two as you can see 6.48.4 npk and here we have 6.45.9 npk so let me open my winbox again after you have downloaded the package what you need to do is just to take it and drop it on the winbox so in order to upload our package our package is going to be on files so we can drag and drop it in files and then it will be uploaded as you can see the uploading is taking place you can also see down there we have to wait for it to finish uploading the files then as you can see here is it 7.1 megabytes router os as mips 6.48 so now that we have our latest version in our files, what we need to do is to go to system and then we reboot so that our latest version can be downloaded. And as you can see, say, do you want to reboot the router? And we're going to click yes. And then after that, we're going to wait for it so that it can come up again and we're going to reconnect. And when we reconnect, it will be on the new version. And as you can see here, our version has been upgraded 6.48.4. And if you can go to system resources we can also see again version that we are using 6.48.4 stable the second method that we said we're gonna use it's using system packages upgrade so in order to use system package upgrade you have to have access to the internet so let's go to our winbox as you can see i've already downgraded my version to 6.45.9 and to do that, you drag and drop your router version into the winbox. And then after it's been downloaded into files, you go to system. And then you click on packages. And then you click on downgrade. And it will tell you, it will ask you that, do you really want to reboot your, your router? And then you click yes. And then the downgrade will take place. So that's the way to downgrade your your router OS so in order to use system packages we go to system then we go to packages and then we click on check for updates as we can see installed version 6.459 latest version 6.484 and you can see channel it's stable let's make it long term and see long term we can see the latest version is 6.47 Point one zero, and if you go to testing, testing is six point four nine beta by four. Then development seven point one as we saw seven point one RC two. So the one that we are going to install, we are going to install the stable version, which is six point four eight four. We have two methods of doing it. We can click on download, and then our package will be downloaded and after the package has been finished finished downloading we go to system and then we click on reboot so that the installation of new version can take place and then the other way is the one that i'm going to use you click download and install and the winbox will do everything it will download this the, the the files and then after it has finished it will restart itself so that the installation can take place so let's click on download and install as you can see busy downloading there we have to wait for it to finish downloading and then it will restart on its own let's click on reconnect so that we can log in again and as we can see right now installed version 6.48.4 latest version 6.48.4 the last method that we are using is to upgrade the firmware of the router board 
So in order to upgrade the firmware, we go to system and then we click on root about. And as we can see, factory firmware 6.45.9, current firmware 6.45.9, upgrade 6.48.4. So we click on upgrade. Do you really want to upgrade firmware? We click yes. And then as you can see, we got the message there. Firmware upgraded successfully. Please reboot for changes to take effect. So we go to system and we click on reboot. Do you want to reboot the router? We click yes. Then we're going to wait for it so that we can reconnect when it's done. And as we can see right now, factory firmware 6.45.9, current firmware 6.48.4, and upgrade firmware 6.48.4. And with that, we reached the end of our lesson. Hope this lesson was informative and you gain a lot from it. If you gain a lot from this lesson, please share it with someone you think will also benefit from it. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the like button so that you can be notified when we drop another lesson. With that, let me love and leave you. Have a nice day. Thank you.